Hey guys, today I'm going to showcase 10 hilarious bugs or mysteries in Dragonflight. Some of them might already be fixed, since I've gathered the footage over the last few weeks, but the vast majority should still work. Number 1. Free Elite Gear First, let me tell you one of the most hilarious bugs I've come across. This happened at the start of the PP season. I was online during the exact minute that the season started, and then this came up. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, there's anything came out. Wait, the new thing came out. Wait, why did I get the elite thingy mug? You sure it's the elite season, not just the. Uh... Yes, yeah, limited edition. It appears that I was given a full elite set for free, without having any rating at all. I got the elite. I, you, why? Oh my god. God, they can't, can they not bug up stuff? They always bug up stuff. How is this possible? Wait, is this a bug? I mean, why would we have elites in the moment we log on? This happened to other people as well. Such as my guildy having full elite set instantly. Dude, why are they giving out elite sets for free? Did I see it? I don't know. Days later, this was still not rolled back. And I didn't even transmog it until I received it in a legit way. Since it seems quite exploity. Number 2. Dampening affects layered hands twice. Well, it's always fun with bugs that affect paladins and make them perform worse. No, 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 please. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about layered hands. I've noticed it being super bad in arenas, and for once, I actually did some calculations on why. It healed me for 105k against a Death Knight and Evoker, but four wounds, with 50% dampening. Normally, Lay on hands heal for 75% of max health in PP combat, which is 427k in the starting room. That maths is right. However, the moment dampening kicks in, it starts to heal 338k, with only 11% dampening. It's only 10%, whatever. Oh, wait, hold on, I think dampening might stack twice. And with 10%, it's at 346k. Now I got BAM! Okay, I need, that's good testing. That's good. Yeah, dude, the variety is massive. Just doing some simple math showed that dampening affects it twice, which makes sense. That's why my 400k heal was nerfed by 50% dampening to 200k, and then once again by another 50% dampening to 100k. The question is, how many other healing spells are affected in a similar way and bugged by dampening? Dude, yeah, 65% dampening. Number 2.5 Healers losing 80% mana in PvP. This bug is an annoying one that affects healers in world pp. It appears that if your chest is enchanted with a mana modifier, such as reserve of intellect, upon entering any kind of pvp combat that scales your gear, your mana will be set to 20% of maximum, or 50k, which is the same as a dps character. To put salt in the wounds, upon leaving pp combat, your mana is once again set to 20%. I pray for all you world pp healers out there, that this bug is fixed shortly, since this makes healers unplayable as long as you have the- Oh my god, mana bar is appearing. As long as you have the chest enchant. Number 3. Random disconnects. Have you fly around trying to herb and mine, and then all of a sudden you're stuck? And by stuck, I mean you can't log in, and you keep disconnecting. This is quite annoying. And has happened to me at least four different times. Oh my god, fast bug again. I'm fairly certain this happens because of a disconnection field that is present under the ground to prevent people from exploiting out of bounds. Sadly, this affects people used for landing in weird spots in the overworld, so it's definitely buggy. An even worse example of this is when Karani got stuck when herbing. No, I went on, I walked on this thing, you know, I can't get away from it. She didn't DC at first, but couldn't interact with anything. No, I'm trying to move. Can you jump on me? No, I Are you here where I see you are? Or like, am I beside you? Yeah, I need to reload. Then she logged out and got teleported to a random location far away. Wait, I don't see you anymore. <laughs> oh, he's appeared. Wait, hold on. There you go. Carry your. Hi. Wait. What? Hold on. Stay right there. Which she was in the middle of the air. You're invisible in the middle of the air. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> God, you're standing here. Can you jump on me now? Please, do you even see me anymore? I mean, you're here no. on my screen, but on your screen you're somewhere else. However, this was only the case on my screen. On her screen, she was stuck underwater somewhere. You found a new exploit. 
invisible in the air. No one can touch you. Are you? Is it another stuck bug? Why I have a breath bar? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I have a breath bar. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I see you casting abilities far away. You're on other side on your screen, and you actually are. We tried to save her with an arena queue. Hopefully, they didn't make things worse. Skirmish always saves everything. Oh. It works always. So. But it did. Mm, Should we leave that enough? Ah, left. Let's see if it works for you. Hopefully, you're not even more bugged now. How would I be even more. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you were even more bugged. Oh my god. Hello! She got teleported out to an endless DC loop in on around planes. A zone we weren't even in. You weren't even in the land, even near that place. On my screen either. Mm. It seems quite hard to recreate. So it must be specific frames that cause your character to bug yeah, out. How can you not fix it? Everyone's having this bug all over the place. Number 4. Q system broken. This is quite annoying. And it happened a week or so into the PvP season. When the Q system on EU stopped working completely. In what way did it stop? Well, it took 5 minutes for the queue to actually put us into the arena finder. Yeah, I'm, I'm buying back my gem. Mate, you're good with your only queue with free, free, what? What? We got in the queue pop now, we got the queue now. <coughs> Wait, what? Yeah, you're in the queue. What? I'm leaving the random vision. And then it randomly threw us out of the queue for no reason at all. And gave me a Craven debuff. As if I'd left it. That was so great. Wait, the queue's gone. Oh yeah, my god, what is this? Oh, they baited us to yeah, the pit. Wait, Craven? I got Craven! I didn't join the arena, what? Did we lose rating from that? Then it randomly threw us into an arena queue again, without me trying to join it. So no, it's queue again! It's queue again! It's two feet <laughs> back! Three <laughs> feet back, dude! What the hell? And we can't join a battleground, because we are deserters. Even if no one actually has the deserter debuff. Okay. Oh, you can't join the background because you're a desert. What? We can't join BD because you're a deserter. Who's a deserter? We have no deserter. Anyway, now wait, I'm craving again. It ran the throwing cravings at me, dude. Oh my god, dude. This game is just ridiculous. Am I losing rating? Oh, damn, lag. I'm not losing rating yet, okay. And this time, it randomly threw us into BGQ instead of Arena. I mean, you do gain auto like melee attack a bit too. Now we queued back again, guys. Holy shit! Three minutes in queue already. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good game. This issue happened to many other players, and there were still issues days later. Actually, scrap that. It kept happening weeks later. It probably still ain't fixed, to be honest. I'm in queue. Yeah, someday. Oh yeah, it's bugged. Oh wait, it's bugged. I think. Yeah, People saying cool. it is. I got Craven, but... dude. It's the bug is back. Yeah. Every reset, yeah, it seems. Let's remake it once. And if it doesn't work, then we... We tried to remake the group to fix it. But it instead put us into an arena queue. While we weren't even in a party. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm in a three queue, but... I'm queued alone. Uh -huh. I'm queued yeah, too. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I'm wait, that group has joined for queue. I honestly want to still have this with queue pop. How many okay. queues can I have Craven, dude? One to one. Number 5. Warlock Troll Dot. Next up, we have a fun bug in the Warlock Talent Tree. It is a talent harvester of souls that's supposed to deal additional damage to your corruption targets. However, in reality, this deals damage to whoever you are currently targeting. Look how I sniped the vulture from far away. I thought of a hilarious way to show this and decided to fly up in the air and target random low health horde in Durtar. And then they would randomly die at the end of their duels. Sadly, this doesn't do much damage, so it can't be used to kill horde at full health while on your own. Get him, quick! <laughs> However, it is a neat little trick, and it does seem to interrupt Hearthstone cast, which means it should work to stop flag captures in battlegrounds. Uh, not that I tried this. Number 6. Dismount aggroing people. This bug was active earlier in Dragonflight. You're in combat. I'm in combat with some random thing. How did I get in combat with that one? And I first stumbled upon it 
when aggroing an NPC from really far away. What if I dismount from you and the, whoever I target aggros onto me? It seems like when you dragon ride someone else, dismounting will cause whoever you're targeting to aggro onto you. If you dismount right now, do you get aggro? Oh, I do! Oh, wait, get this <laughs> Somehow, dismounting seems to act like an offensive action. I was going to troll I panic by making him aggro the world boss. Sadly, it was already fixed by then. They fix it? That would be so sad. Number 7. Input lag. This is a thing that not many people might notice, but it seems to happen much more frequently after Dragonflight. It is when you press an ability that is off the global cooldown, but it has a delay before it actually goes off. As you can see in my War of Glory, this game sucks. I press it, and it lights up. But it doesn't go off for about 0 3 seconds, and then I get seized and die. This kind of delay is the exact same type that is felt during overcrowded areas, when the servers are lagging. I have about 20 ms, and my FPS is doing great, so I don't think it's anything on my end. This kind of lag ruins some games, and the higher end input lag I've noticed is about 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 seconds, which makes instacast not really instant. You can see in my War of Glory that the time it takes for the heal to actually happen is half a global. Here's an example of another ability, when spell warding has a 0 3 second delay when using it on my teammate. Before the server registers my spell warding, the demon hunter is both able to reverse my stun and have it land on me. The absolute worst example of this is when the button lights up but doesn't move anywhere, then the global suddenly jumps without going off. I'm not sure exactly what's causing the delay. My best bet is that the servers are having so much to calculate in the arena, so your input is slowed down. This is actually really annoying and loses you some games. Tell me, do you have similar issues when playing? It might be hard to notice unless you're recording your gameplay and seeing it afterwards. Number 8. Losing 100k gold. This has to be the biggest troll in Dragonflight so far. You see, I was trading my friend 100k gold for his weapon enchantment. But then it looked like I lost 200k. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give it back, I'll give it back. Wait, did I give you 100k? Yeah, I did. Wait. Yeah, I did. And went down to 11k remaining gold. Yes. I think, right? 100k, yes. Or how much do you think you gave? Did I give 200? Maybe I'm hallucinating and losing my mind. Dude, am I strip? I swear, did I have? I have 110k right. gold on me, so. <laughs> Wait, I think my my mind is. 20... Was it 11k? Am I seeing things wrong? Wait. But thankfully, it was all just a wishel bug. I swear, <laughs> I went down to 11k gold for like a few seconds, and now he's back at 111k. Number nine, dwarven farmers. Next up is a weird one. You all probably know the Westlands farm, and that of the Highlands farm by now where there are dwarven farmers residing. The odd thing is that these are scaling all the way up to level 70, which is current expansion level. While back in the day, they used to be a really low level, such as 30. They have more than 200k HP on my paladin. But when I visited it on my level 60 monk, they appear to be level 59, with 32k HP. It seems like they are scaling based on your character. So the question is, why are these scaling all of a sudden? What's on your mind? The NPC ID is only used on the farms, and other friendly units in the zone are still stuck at a low level, so it isn't a zone-wide buff. This means a developer must have went out of their way to buff them specifically. Another sad thing is that the Dwarven farmers in the Highlands are gone, both in the new phase from BFA, as well as the old one. And everything that remains is a Grim Reaper. <coughs> Could the Dwarven scaling have something to do with a feature of Battleground, similar to Hillspell vs. Torn Mill, which scaled up Hillspell embassies? I guess that remains to be seen. Mm. Number 10. Disconnecting while trading. To finish off, we have a bug that leads you disconnecting if you trade someone while your bag is full. 
<gasps> Den. Oh my god. At first, I thought it happened when inside Mythic Plus dungeons. <laughs> However, it kept persisting outside. So I thought it had something to do with voice chat. But the truth is, it's simply trading someone while your bag is full. That causes both of you to disconnect. Great one, Bliss. If you trade me something and I full bag, what happens? <laughs> what the f? <laughs> oh, it's not even the voice chat, it's just the game itself. Uh. Oh. No, okay, so I, I was speculating this was part of the. Actually, this me too, by the way. Yeah, I know, I know. I hope you all enjoyed these 10 hilarious bugs. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more. <laughs> it's literally a box, dude. They turned panic the freaking box. Oh no.